Hey Aries, what's up? Welcome to your weekly love reading. I hope you guys are doing well. Thank you so much for being here. I greatly appreciate all of you. All right, Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Here we go, guys. As always, this isn't going to resonate for every single Aries out there. It's not possible. You're not all living the same lives. So if it doesn't resonate, check your other signs, specifically your Moon and Venus, as this is a love reading. At the end of these weekly readings, guys, I do answer a yes or no question for you. So throughout the reading, try to think of a question that you might have for me so I can answer that for you at the end. It'll be the very last thing that I do. All right. First card out, the full. There you are, showing up in your own reading, guys. Judgment. Warrior Princess, Warrior 10, Dreamer, Eat, and the Dancer Prince. Okay, so you are coming in as the full, your own energy. This is you starting a new beginning, you taking a leap of faith, taking a risk. If you're single, you're ready to uh, jump right into something with someone. If you are in a relationship, it is kind of like doing something spontaneous here with the person, you know? Let's see what it is. What is it that you're jumping into, Aries? Oh, strength, Leo. Might have something happening with a Leo. Let's get another one. Oh, geez, okay. So maker five, winner's bite. This is actually the five of pentacles. Um, which is about leaving someone. So it is about you leaving someone behind, maybe moving out of a home with someone. Um, it could be somebody leaving you, but I'm going to go with you right now because you're the one that wants to, you know, take a leap of faith, to have a new beginning somewhere else. Um, and it's having the strength to leave somebody behind in order to <clears throat> embark on a whole new beginning here. Recent past, you have judgment. Um, this is like, an awakening. It's like an awakening, a final decision on something, um, redemption. You know, it can be like a reevaluation of an, of an, of a decision that you had already made. And this can be you or them. It can also be reconciliation, but it's in the past. So it's like, if you reconciled with somebody, it doesn't look like it's working out too well, or it could have been just somebody wanting to reconcile. And you said, no, like you want a whole new beginning here. All right. Warrior Princess here is the Page of Wands, Gift of Courage. This is about uh, some kind of passionate communication here. It is kind of mm, more sex-based than emotion-based. Let's get another one here. The Emperor, look at you. You are coming out twice in your own reading here. You have both of the Major Arcana for Aries, the Fool and the Emperor. So this is you being in your power, you being your whole self. With the Emperor here, this is a uh, divine masculine it's taking control of your life and only dealing with those in your life that where you're actually passionate about the connection you know what i mean um it can be being a little strict a little routine and the ace of pentacles make or birth is the ace of pentacles so this is a commitment you have the opportunity here for like a whole long-term commitment but it's something that starts out <coughs> relatively sexual um, let's see, let's get another one here. Maker seven, seven of pentacles, effort sustained. So this is about investing, investing in a long-term commitment. Um, so whatever you have happening here, this like new leap of faith you're taking, it looks like it is meant to be long-term. It's not, yeah, it might feel like it's quick. It might feel like a risky kind of decision here, but it does look like it's something that's going to be sustained. It doesn't look like something that, you know, is going to be gone tomorrow or whatever. Now, your potential obstacle, you have the Eight of Swords. This is the, the Dreamer Eight, the Eight of Swords, the Web of Mirrors. So this is about being stuck in your head, um, overanalyzing, overthinking, <clears throat> paranoia. It doesn't have to be yours. This can be somebody else that you're dealing with here. Let's see, what is this Dreamer 8 all about?
Justice Reverse Libra. All right, so somebody feels like they are being treated unfairly. Somebody feels like <clears throat> there's a connection that's not equal, it's not balanced. Somebody feels like, you know, they were just kind of not treated right in a situation here. All right, your immediate future is the Warrior 10. This is the 10 of Wands, the great task. This is about being heavily burdened, but it's the end of it. It's like the need to release things that aren't yours to carry. It is an ending, but it's an ending that you would welcome, right? Like this is like an ending of being exhausted, being drained, carrying too much of other people's shit. Let's get one here. Ten of Swords. So you have now the Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands in your immediate future. Desolation. So it, there's a definite ending here. Let me see. My candle is like making me sneeze and I don't know why. It's the same one I learn all the time. All right, let's get one here. You know, this might not be your issue here happening in the future I, because you're definitely like on the verge of leaving somebody behind uh so this might be their hurt you know you doing what you need to do might be like hurting someone else but you know it is what it is it's life and the page of pentacles so there is this new offer of commitment here like i've been saying um but it, it there is it is going to require some endings here with some other shit Six of Pentacles reversed. All right, so with having the Six of Pentacles reversed here and Justice reversed as an obstacle, watch out for overgiving. Watch out for putting more into a connection than you're getting back. Make sure that it's equal. You know, um, there's a lot of, of the energy of taking on a lot of other people's shit and not practicing healthy boundaries. And the Knight of Cups. So there's that new love offer here in the future. Younger Water, Cancer, Scorpio, Pisces. Um, doesn't have to be a water sign, but it's the energy of being really flirty, really romantic, really kind of like save the day kind of shit, you know. Um, kind of naive energy for this person, but whatever. Your advice here is the Dancer Prince. So this is... Um, this is actually the same card as the Knight of Cups in this deck. It's the gift of passion. So it's somebody that's just going to come in. <clears throat> My gosh, Knight in Shining Armor like. So with this being your advice, it's you needing to um, be a little more lighthearted with love. Just have fun with it. Go with it. Express your feelings. You know what I mean? Oh, wow. Okay, um, that's interesting. So you have the Dancer King, which is the King of Cups. So you now have the Knight and the King of Cups here as your advice. Gift of wisdom, gift of passion. Um, this is about being emotionally balanced, emotionally stable, <clears throat> emotionally mature. Um, it's like you've mastered your emotions, or that's your advice, right? To learn how, learn how to master your emotions here um, and express them express them and you know whatever happens happens at least you've gotten your feelings out there right all right i am going to where to go i'm going to grab you an oracle this is super lighthearted. this deck and then we're gonna check your energy with the other signs okay if i could hold it if i could hold this big ass deck oh my gosh why can't i shut this deck? Jeez. all right what do we have for aries what do we have for Aries this week? Jane Austen, none of us want to be in calm waters all our lives. No, you definitely don't, Aries. You guys need your excitement. It is a truth universally acknowledged that a single man in possession of a good fortune must be in want of a wife. <laughs> there are as many forms of love as there are moments in time. Yeah. I mean, it is what it is, right? All right, let's get your energy with the different signs you could be dealing with. <clears throat> All right, here we go, Aries. Aries, 
what's up with you and everyone else all right for those of you dealing with another aries aries dealing with aries what is the energy there the hermit you guys might not be on speaking terms the hermit is isolation aries dealing with taurus nine of wands you're still going but ready to give up persevering trying but on the verge of letting it go aries dealing with gemini aries and gemini the chariot this is moving forward moving towards success you could be moving in together traveling together but this is definitely moving in the forward direction aries dealing with cancer nine of swords stress the hell out there's a lot of anxiety a lot of depression a lot of sleepless nights a lot of somebody really going through it in that connection aries dealing with leo aries dealing with leo Ooh, and it's on the floor oh the tower major major change is happening there if you're dealing with a leo let's see let's get one on this tower for you the Knight of Cups. So there could be like an unexpected emotional outpouring if you are dealing with a Leo. It's like somebody just kind of comes in, sweeps you off your feet. You didn't expect it. You weren't expecting these feelings, whatever. Looks good though. Aries dealing with Virgo. Aries. Aries. <laughs> what the fuck? Aries dealing with Leo. What's up with you guys? I mean, not Leo, Virgo. Aries dealing with Virgo is the Hierophant, Taurus. Um, so this one, if it's not an actual commitment, like a traditional type of commitment, it could be headed towards that, could even be headed towards marriage. Aries dealing with Libra. Aries and Libra. Oh, nice, the Two of Cups. That looks to be an amazing connection. If you are with a Libra, you guys look to be good. Soulmate shit. Aries dealing with Scorpio. Oh, shit, death, Scorpio. Um, either Scorpio's got full control over that relationship or, or it could be ending or transforming. Let's get one on that death with Scorpio. The Page of Swords. Um, all right, so somebody could be communicating that it, it does need to end or something needs to really change here. Um, it can also be, you know, somebody is like investigating, checking your social media and found out some shit that they didn't like. All right, Aries dealing with Sagittarius. The High Priestess. All right, let's see what we get on the High Priestess. the seven of cups so there's some fantasizing there there might not be any any actual action being taken but there is some fantasizing there's some confusion and somebody really needs to listen to their intuition um, to clear up any kind of confusion here aries dealing with capricorn Ooh, the Wheel of Fortune. That is turning around in a big way. Lots of good luck coming for that connection. Um, the timing is just right for it now, and it is a faded connection. Aries dealing with Aquarius. Crossroads. There's a decision that needs to be made in that connection. Let's get one on that two of wands. And a conversation. There's a conversation that needs to happen if you are dealing with an Aquarius about which direction the relationship is going to go. All right. Aries dealing with Pisces. Page of wands. There could be new communication coming in from a Pisces. And the ace of swords i don't know if i would trust it though it looks to be just sex based okay all right let's see if there's any other messages that you need to hear before i pull your yes or no any other messages for aries in love this week prince of autumn this is actually the 
Knight of Pentacles, cautious but wise action, meticulous attention to detail, kindness to others. Um, you could be dealing with a younger earth sign, Virgo, Taurus, Capricorn, but it's the need to kind of slow it down a little bit. Like you're kind of ready to jump right into something after leaving another connection, which is kind of Aries mentality. No judgment. It just, it is what it is. Um, you might just want to slow it down a little bit and make sure you know what you're getting yourself into. Queen of Spring, believe in yourself. Wonderful, wonderful, oh my gosh. Can I talk, please, guys? Wonderful people want to help you. Maintain a balance between work and home life. This is actually the Queen of Wands. So your own energy. It's about you being in your power, you being on your shit, feeling confident, um, feeling good about yourself, you know? All right, let's get your yes or no, guys. Are you ready? Yes or no for my Aries friends. Yes or no, Aries. Yes or no for my Aries friends. What's up? What's up with you? That is a yes with the five of swords reverse. It's also ending to conflict. So I hope you guys wanted it to be a yes. You guys take care and I will talk to you in another day or two.